Hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to get this hairstyle with some of my favorite products. So the last time that I saw my hairstylist, she showed me how to get these kind of beachy waves that I really like. And she was nice enough to, during my appointment, actually give me the hair curling iron and show me how to accomplish these waves. She also gave me a couple of recommendations for hair products that I have been absolutely loving. So let's hop in and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off by separating our hair into two sections. I wanna do the bottom section first and then the top section. So I'm just gonna grab a claw clip and I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I'm going to brush this out. Now the first product that I used was actually the Decadent Creamy Mousse by OGX. And I love the scent of this, but I put this in my hair when my hair was wet because putting in a mousse when your hair is wet is going to prolong the life of your curls. And my hair hates holding a curl. like. It's absolutely the worst thing ever. <laughs> I curl my hair and then the next day it's fallen out. So anything I can do to make my curls last longer, I do. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take this Smooth Style Spray from OGX and I'm just gonna put this in here to protect my hair from the heat. I'm gonna brush that through again. And what we're going to do now is separate the hair. I'm just gonna take one small section like this. And I'm going to take my Hot Tools curling iron. I think this is a one inch, or it's three quarters. And I'm going to leave the ends out. I'm going to put the clamp on the bottom. I'm gonna leave the ends out, and I'm just going to roll it up. I'm gonna count a few seconds. And then I'm going to release it. I'm gonna hold on to the end like this, and it's still in the clamp, and then I'm gonna release it. And you see, it gives you this longer curl. It's not so tight. It's a little bit more like a, um, a beachy wave. So doing this all over the head is just gonna make your hair a little bit less like really Shirley Temple curls and more kind of relaxed, which I really like. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. That was too big of a section. I'm just gonna do the same thing again. So I'm just gonna grab a section like this, this is kind of a wide section, but I don't mind. Put the clamp on the bottom, leave two inches out, and then curl up the head. Now I'm going to pull this down. Kind of pull on the curl in the clamp, and then release it. So you can see, you get these kind of beachy waves. And I'm just gonna do that all along the bottom of my head. So now I'm just gonna show you again on the other side. So I'm gonna just leave out two inches or so, and then roll it up, hold it there, and then I'm going to release, pull on the clamp, and then release the whole hair. So while this is cooling, I'm going to spray it with this Not Your Mother's After Curfew Unscented Hairspray. I like this because it doesn't have a scent. And I'm just gonna shake that and I'm gonna spray it. Now I'm not doing a heavy layer here because I don't want this to not feel touchable. But this again, if you have the kind of hair that will hold its curl, then you don't have to do this. I don't have that kind of hair, so I have to put in a bunch of products to try and get my hair to curl and last when it's curled. So if you don't have that problem, you don't have to do this. So now I'm just going to take this hair and take the clip out of the top of my hair and just put that in the bottom half of my hair just to keep it separate. And then I'm going to put my hair, just part my hair down the middle and pull all of the hair forward that I haven't curled yet. And now I'm just gonna spray my hair with that heat protection spray. I'm just gonna brush that through. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute or two and then I'm going to do the top half of my hair.
I figured I would show you what I do with my bangs. So what I do here is I want to curl my bangs away from my face. So I put the, the clamp on top and then I curl this in here. Let it sit for about one, two, three, about five seconds, I guess. Then I roll it down and kind of curl it back up again. <laughs> and then I do that one more time. And then I do the same thing I did before where I pull on the curl here. Or do that <laughs> if it slips through the cracks. So that's what I do on this side of my head. And again, this all looks very kind of tendril-like right now. I'm gonna go through and shake it out, but because my hair doesn't hold a curl, I need to let it cool before I try and separate it. Because if I separate it now, then by the time it cools off, the curls will have fallen out. So now we're done with the whole head. I'm just going to take that clip out and I'm going to spray this side of my hair. And now I'm going to comb it out with my fingers and just kind of get that looser wave. The last couple things I need to do are put in my powder grip mattifying hair powder, which is gonna give me some volume at the top and crown of my head and put in my Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Spray Wax, which will give some definition to my layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of this mattifying hair powder and I'm just gonna take the top layer of hair and pull that to the side and then put this right underneath. And I'm just gonna rub that in with my fingers. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just rub that in. And it's just gonna give me this volume at the root, which I really, really love. Um, you know, my hair's really flat, and so giving any sort of volume is always a great thing. <laughs> so I really like the way that looks, and it lets me kind of have a middle part, because I find that if you have really flat hair and you have a middle part, it can look kind of weird. But if you have volume in a middle part, then it looks kind of like cute flirt. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna take some of this Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Spray Wax, and I'm gonna spray that at the bottom of my hair, not at the root, because I don't wanna put anything that's gonna weigh down the root, but I do want it on the bottom where it's just gonna provide some definition. And the nice thing about doing this is that if you have hair that naturally holds a curl, you don't need to use hairspray. You just need to use some of this spray wax, because it'll give a little bit of hold, but it'll also kind of define your layers, which is great. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my blog if you haven't already. Head over to my Instagram and Twitter and follow me there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.